Yiling. <laughs> Louis Bei, now in control over Jing and Yi provinces, named his territory the Kingdom of Shu and declared himself the rightful heir of the Han. However, the three kingdoms Shu, Wu, and Wei would not last. Louis Bei's former ally, Wu, demanded the return of Jing to the Sun Clan. The dispute escalated and Louis Bei mobilized his army to invade Wu. His troops advanced along the Shangjing and set up their camp at Yiling. Shu awaited the Wu forces there to fight the decisive battle. Hello, hello everyone! Uh, welcome back to some more Let's Play Dynasty Warriors Advance. I'm the 12th kind. Uh, last time on Dynasty Warriors Advance, I believe that was our our favorite boat mission, I think. No, that was Friday. Um, I'm actually recording this the day um, that the Monday, that the previous episode comes out. Uh, so I can actually check my YouTube studio because it's going to be the top video on my list. Oh, it was the mission after, uh, where we, we had that, that fun stuff where it was like, don't let them meet. And then I was like, you know what? What if I just fought the head dude and ended the battle early? Uh, so let's go ahead and start battle. So it looks like we've got lots of enemies surrounding us. Louis Bay, the sun's force of spirit will crush your rule. Tai Shi Si? She? I don't actually know. Uh, Zhao Yu, go on, settle it here now. Ah, we're surrounded. Wu is separate indeed. But in the name of justice, we must not give in. Oh no, brother is in danger. We must rescue him now. Player move. Uh, did, I think I got a new weapon last time. What type was it? I think maybe it was the poison fate. I'm not actually sure. I don't remember. But we do. Oh my gosh. We have a lot of swords. I just realized. <laughs> oh my gosh. Back. Okay. Well. Um. Yeah. Let's just run down. I remember. Yeah. This map had the really weird uh, pathing for a lot of things. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go fight him, Taishi, let's go, oh, nope, no you don't, man, look at our health bar, it's like freaking massive, oh my gosh, this is what happens when you play a tank character, and you, you keep specking into health, it's just like, you can't, you can't stop, you can't stop the pain train, <laughs> choo choo motherfuckers <laughs> uh oh, oh. Ha -ha. um also <laughs> between episodes so basically this whole past weekend um like between recording episodes I should say um I've been trying to figure out you know what exactly is like the next step in terms of like ch not necessarily changing but just sort of like evolving how I do content because it's like the overall idea has stayed the same you know ever since this channel was started um, but the quality has definitely improved like you know it just go back um, to um gosh the start of this channel and like you'll see that it's like you know overall quality in terms of like hardware with like microphone and, and capture software has improved um i would say to some extent how I uh, approach content is definitely better, I would think. Um, 
And then, you know, of course, I'm always experimenting with different ideas here and there. Um, yeah, let's take on the officer. Um, and I think um, that it's definitely a good thing to always want to uh, improve. Because the, the one thing that I never want to do in life is become complacent. And it's like, I, I've noticed that like once I start becoming complacent, I start getting burnt out a lot easier because I'm not pushing myself to learn new things and evolve how I do things now, you know? <clears throat> And so, um, ow, fuck you. Um, so I've just been thinking about, like, what sort of, like, the next step of the channel is going to be, and I've noticed that when it comes to, like, you know, when I will, like, a good example of what I'm trying to say, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 had a lot of episodes where I just kind of like um, went in and had fun with like on screen text and extra images, um, that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I kind of did a little bit of that with um, crisis 2 like crisis 2's thing was uh the um the unreal tournament headshot every time i got a headshot in game um that honestly was a lot of fun um and you know i was thinking about like what what let's plays are like the most satisfying to me and I think definitely um let's plays with like a certain like sort of um end goal more or less like um you know I love Stardew Valley it's a great game but I I'm I've got mixed feelings about the let's play that I did because it was just so open-ended like there was like you know like an end goal but um it it was more or less like just super open and um I ended up ending year two early because I got the community center opened and I married one of the the townsfolk and I was just like you know what that's it um and I never end up ended up like finishing out the year um and so you know I was thinking about that and like other games like um it's still this the uh, the series is completely delisted, but um, I had done a um, a let's play on Lego City Undercover on Wii U, um, and that was like a first playthrough kind of thing. Uh, I had never played; I only played like a smidge of it before, but I wanted to go in there and try to hundred percent it. And I ended up just kind of getting burnt out. Now, of course, there were other factors involved in um, that decision to end the Let's Play at the end of the, the story. Um, and overall, I just thought that the Let's Play was just, like, awful and reminded me too much of, like, bad things that had happened in my life. So I ended up delisting that along with the let's play of uh, Star Trek Conquest, which um, when I had like set that to like the hardest difficulty, it 
felt like it became impossible, impossible, and just a slog. And I ended that let's play early. Uh, Raving rabbits go home. Um, I just ended up like experiencing so many crashes that I just kind of gave up on that series. Um, And so, like, what what all of those have in common um, is that they're they're projects of games that I hadn't played or played much of uh, beforehand, and um, oh oh, hold on, I gotta I gotta focus. Um. And also, they just, um, you know, they ended up having some problems that cropped up during the series to the point where I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to continue doing this Let's Play. And so, you know, from that point on, I, I started thinking about, okay, well, I want to Let's Play games that I've actually played or know without a shadow of a doubt that I would actually enjoy um, playing. And you know, Dynasty Warriors Advance is one of those games where it's like, I played a little bit of it um, before deciding, yes, I wanna let's play this game. And it actually worked out. Um, you know, I actually, <laughs> I really enjoy um, doing this series and it's a little sad that it's going to be ending um in like an episode um with the i i've seen that there might be a bonus campaign which means we might get bonus episodes so those won't be numerical episodes they'll be you know bonus one bonus two etc like what i did with uh the portal portal one i haven't done portal two yet um, but one thing, um, is on my let's play spreadsheet slash tracker, which you can get access to if you're a patron, hint, hint, um, I think either the $2 tier or the $5 tier gets you access to that sheet. It's the $2 tier. Um, but, um... You know, on the Let's Play Tracker, I added a thing where um, I I added two columns where I was like, would this, would a Let's Play of this game be better with an outline? Yes, no, 50-50. Would I be going for 100% in this game? Yes, no, 50-50. And basically, the 50-50 means like I haven't decided one way or another if I wanted to, um, um, brain, uh, if I wanted to, uh, go for a hundred percent or do an outline with the game. And the reason why I, I started doing that is because I, I definitely very much like doing let's plays of games where I have to do an outline of now they do take more time um, because I have to like you know sit down and um, play through the game once to you know get a feel for it and then go through it maybe a second time if I didn't hundred percent it the first time um, and then finally go through and do a um, a 100% a playthrough that I base my episode outlines on. Um, and one really nice thing about the episode outlines is that they give me a clear focus for the episode. I can still talk about whatever the fuck I want to, obviously. Um, but it's... Um, he, he's just running away. Um,
You won't get away with that. We've already controlled this area. Task forces engulfed the shoe camp in fire. What? Past forces have appeared. Okay, we must do everything to save it. All right, fair enough. I can do that. Um, but it's like it's nice to you know have the uh, the outline be like, okay, this is you know what we're gonna be doing this episode. These are the these are the things I want to get done, want to show off, etc. Man, I could not get back to that in time. Fire attack was a success. Oh, no. Louis Bay has been wounded. Shoot. Okay. I don't know if there's any way around that. Um. But, um... You know, for example, like, um, my Pokemon Let's Play, with the few flaws that it does have, and I will recognize that it's not perfect, um, you know, it was my first time doing a project like that, and so there's going to be some rough patches. But anyways, um, you know, uh... I still really like how I did that let's play uh, you know it was separated into story arcs um, with some story arcs being split into two because you know that's just the nature of how some of those arcs are like you could take the the first generation Pokemon games and look at that story and be like okay for most of it you know, the beginning and the end, each arc is about an hour to get through with some of the story arcs in the middle taking about two hours because they diverge uh, and go in, in different directions. And we got a level up, which is very nice. I do appreciate that. Um, but... Um, Oh, uh, troops are appearing behind me. Yeah, it's fine. I've begun retreating. Maybe? Ah, jeez. Um. But, like, I have a, um, a couple of Let's Plays in the works that uh, will need outlines. And in fact, one of them I've finished the outline for. Um, and I'm really happy with how the outline turned out. Um, I'm not going to say what it is because I already told y'all the, the next two projects that are coming up in line. <laughs> um, but, um, you know... Oh, with uh, one thing that I've been debating is that you know with the fact that um, you know year six um, one I'm probably going to be moving um, especially doing like a pretty hefty move um I don't want to give away right now. Um, you know, there there are some Let's Plays that I would like to... Um, brain, work with me. Um, that I would like to do, but I might have to push them f back further into the year. Um, Uh, which is unfortunate, but that, you know, that's just life. Um, 
But also, you know, having, you know, Let's Plays that, um, you know, I can, uh, I have outlines for definitely makes it easier for me to uh, plan out, you know, what days I work on those series and just being able to recognize like okay I you know um uh, brain work with me here being able to look at an outline and be like okay this let's play is going to be 10 episodes but obviously you know it's very involved um you know, series. Uh, like, let's say, for example, you know, if I did, like, Pokemon Yellow, you know, um, I'm not going to because I did a, a whole sh one. I, I let's played um, Pokemon Blue and then I streamed me playing through Yellow. Um,. And in my my Pokemon Blue Let's Play, um, I did go over you know the what boss fights and whatnot were available in um, or not what boss fights were available, but what Pokemon were um, available in Yellow. Um, Along with, uh, you know, what the the boss fights were like in Yellow. So, like, I basically did everything except show footage of Yellow. Um, and that's kind of why I did the, uh, the Pokemon Yellow live stream series. Um... Oh, oh. Um, so definitely, um, you know, just to give you an idea of basically like, um, you know, there were some let's plays, um, you know, before, uh, what you call it, before this next channel year is going to come up where it's, it's basically going to be Let's Plays that have, like, that need an outline, more or less, um, and to get kind of, like, an idea about this, you know, you can go and watch, you know, the Pokemon, um, Blue Let's Play, there's also, um, you know, the three Metroid games that I've done, you know, Metroid Fusion, Metroid Zero Mission, Metroid Samus Returns, um, and Samus Returns was a bit tricky because, um, just because that was, I was working on that where I was, like, trying to get used to a lot of different new aspects of my life. Um, and so because of that, the, the let's play wasn't nearly as refined as I would like. Um, but I think given the resources I had at the time, both mentally and physically, I think I did fairly well. Um... Ah, there's so many dudes. Um, I'm trying to think if there were other... Oh, Super Mario Galaxy had an outline. Um, if you want to get real technical um, and, like, split hairs on what the definition of an episode outline is, Mario Kart 8 did not have an outline. Um... But I did have a list of characters I had yet to play. 
And so that kind of was an outline more or less. Um, it, it didn't specifically say, you know, on this episode we were going to do this character or whatever. Um, I just had a bulleted list of characters that I had played and hadn't played. And then I printed that list out and just like marked them off with a pen. Um... Okay, he's retreating. Um, can I make the executive decision to go try to fight them? I guess the answer is yes. Woo, reinforcements! Um... Yeah, let's go north. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm like really focused. <laughs> um, I keep saying um, do 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 do. I think I think that's basically it. Uh, I want to do let's plays that require outlines. Because then I can kind of get what, you know, like I can get a grasp for how long certain projects are going to be. Um, I can, um, you know, I, I, I can put them on my calendar easier. Um, you know, I can, I can plan other projects around it. Um, and I can kind of get an idea about how, you know, how much of it I could, f you know, feasibly get done within a week, you know, with a full-time job, you know? Um... Ally move. Oh. Just mowing through them like butter. Oh, no, 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 no. Man, I really juggled that one, dude. <laughs> Ow. Screw you. No, get back here. Get back here. Uh. Ow. These archers, they're hurting my booty. I don't appreciate. Aha, you fool. Ow. No, none of that. <laughs> Again, like I'm, I'm talking to a pet. Like, hey, no, stop it. <laughs> what do you have in your mouth? Drop it. <laughs> uh, amazing. Ow! Screw you. I think wherever I move, like once I get adjusted, um. to that life I might just like adopt a pet maybe a small dog or something um because like having a pet in your space definitely helps uh you know things it, it helps your mood and I was actually, I was kind of curious. I was like, why does having a pet, you know, increase your mood? You know, assuming that you actually take care of your pet. Because um, there are a lot of people out there that don't. Um, and so I looked into it. And basically, you know, like humans are hard programmed to want to be with nature. 
Um, and of course, some people will laugh at that and be like, oh, her, her, you know, I, I stay in my house all the time. I don't see the, the need to go outside. But like cabin fever is a thing and it will get to everyone eventually, you know. It may not get to you as quick as, you know, most people. Um, but, you know, it will get to you. But, you know, if you have a pet, even if it's like a fish, you know, it helps, you know, remind you of nature. And it connects you to a little bit of nature. And so because of that... Um, having a pet of any kind you know really like helps with like the overall mood of a place it's why you know cat cafes are a thing because it's like you know you want to have coffee but also you want to be with cats because one cats are cute and two you know it, it to some level connects you with nature which is kind of nice Wow, we we defeated two thousand enemies earlier, and now we've defeated twenty five hundred. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Get gods are defeated. Surrender. Headquarters gates are open. They are certainly strong, but we will stand firm. <gasps> Sun Sea. I will go too. I will not stand idle. Let's show them what it means to be sun. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, he did show up. He basically asked if he could go first. So, yeah, we'll fight him first. We want to let them through. Be ready for the showdown. Ow. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. Haha, you fool. Wow, he died really... Oh, well, I did get a critical hit of 158. Oh, my gosh. Ow, stop it. No, no, no. Dang, some of these officers, they really... <laughs> they really toughen up their troops. They are... They're built for tough. Oh my god. I don't know why, but that reminded me of the vine. There's only one race. The human race person gets slapped. What about NASCAR? <laughs> uh, I, this is normally the part where I would say rip vine, but actually in hindsight, vine had a lot of garbage on it. Like, you know, people say that like, TikTok is like Vine but worse. But like Vine wasn't that great either. Like did it produce some gems? Yes. But like when you compare it to the vast catalog of videos that were available on Vine, th the Vine wasn't that great. It's the same with YouTube. Like I will go on the record to say that YouTube produces some gems. Like that's for sure. You know, especially in the Let's Play scene, you know, We've got legends like, you know, uh, you know, Markiplier, Trick Conroy, Stephen George, um, uh, Jack Septiguy, he's definitely, I think, kind of reached that status. Because he's, he's been on the platform for about as long as Markiplier, I think. Um, yeah, let's fight. Um, but, like, you know, for every good, solid, like, content creator that comes about from the platform, there is at least, like, a hundred, if not, like, a thousand garbage, garbage, awful human beings, you know? And, you know, YouTube tries, air quotes, tries to limit the amount of garbage on their platform, but they don't do a good job. And they end up axing and deleting, you know, actual good 
content more often than they do, uh, you know, the actual content that needs to be removed, you know? Like, I <sighs> there's a certain creator who's, who shall not be named, um, that is basically, like, the reason why we have a lot of the awful moderation set in place that we do because it's like every time it like that person uploads a video it's like a, a coin flip on whether or not it's gonna create a new <laughs> rule on YouTube where it um, it's just a mess uh, Julie, I am sorry it was my own fault do not concern yourself. We already have a plan for turning this battle around and making a counterattack. Boats. Julang, what is this? <laughs> They're boats. <laughs> Duh. The ships have arrived. Now we can bridge the water. We'll cross the pontoon to hit the enemy from behind. Ah, Julian, you are a general unlike any other. Right, we'll cross the river and attack the Wu camp. The rest of you come from the south to uh, pincer attack. I'm already there. <laughs> I'm literally at the camp. <laughs> Player move. What the heck? Something was just put on my bed. That's a Star Wars thing. Hanging dry erase board. Ah, oh, neat. I'll take it. <laughs> Sung Wan. <sighs> Ten of everything, okay. <laughs> I'll protect this kingdom, they'll see the sun's power. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. But yeah, I just kind of tried to do my own thing. Um, I will say, uh, in terms of like future projects, there like I the the spreadsheet I have, which I mentioned earlier, that you can access for like two dollars on Patreon. Um, used to be one dollar, but then Patreon added in a bunch of processing fees, and I was like, eh, I'll make it two dollars to make it worthwhile, because otherwise. Like, you know, if someone supports the channel from, like, another country, then that $1 becomes, like, much, much less. Because um, I, I, there were, there was a time, god dang it, what? One of my binders fell. Ah, uh, is this the end of my life? I can't defend the suns any longer, father, I'm sorry. And he has defeated. We got a triumph out of that. Ugh. What is this? What fell? Oh, it's my binder of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't know why I left that there. <laughs> triumph! Sun Quan's forces have been annihilated. Sun's forces morale has increased. Or was that shoot? Sun Quan's forces have appeared. Sir, uh, Quan say, oh no, it's too late. My sons, your death shall not be in vain. As a general, as a father, and as a king, I will not let us be defeated by Louis Bay. Victory conditions changed. Uh, so fight him? Because I will. <laughs> I won't allow a retreat now. Let's show them the Wu pride. Yes. <laughs> Wipe them out. All of them. <laughs> you know, I will say, there. <laughs> it, it's kind of interesting in, like, seeing all the... The nuanced and not-so-nuanced discussion about, um... You know, Star Wars lore. Uh, regarding, you know, certain aspects like the Jedi... And, you know, the fall of them, the fall of the Republic as a whole, 
and the the rise of the empire um and like the empire did a lot of awful things like it was a totalitarian dictatorship um that was built off of the idea that we had one emperor and he had no wife no kids there was no line of secession and when he died the entire empire just kind of fell apart um i think maybe technically vader would have been next in line um but the emperor obviously had no plans for you know a line of secession because he wanted to be immortal um which magic space wizard or not being immortal does have some issues because humans which palpatine was you know biologically a human um you know there is a certain point where you just can't continue to live even with evil space magic at most you're just replacing yourself with a clone of yourself but even then is the clone really Palpatine, you know? Um, but anyways. So. I. Out of like all of the things that the Emperor did. The only good thing he did. And I. I <laughs> um, and I'm being 100% serious. The only good thing Palpatine ever did was destroy some of the most powerful super conglomerates in the galaxy specifically the trade federation and the baking clans because those two single-handedly were effectively destroying the galactic economy now that being said the upside of taking out those two super conglomerates was immediately negated when he blew up a whole planet because that just took a whole planet's economy out of the galactic economy and then when the Death Star was destroyed it threw the entire galaxy into an economic depression uh, I'm sure you will become a dragon ruling the heavens goodbye someone proud tiger of Xiangdong for all the brave men who fell in battle, Louis Bay will use the sword of kindness to pacify this war-torn land. We did it! We won! Chu Force is victorious! Yay! <laughs> Ended that on uh, level 13. Very nice. Damn, 70 in that skill. Okay, what did we get? Health book. All right, all right, not too bad, not too bad. Let's save. Usamo data saved. And then I believe Wu Zheng is the last chapter, oh, excuse me, of this, uh, this campaign. So I'm going to call it there. Thank you so much for watching. Next time on Dynasty Warriors Advance, we will be doing Wu Shang chapter and ending this campaign and ending the main part of the Let's Play because the if the thing about a bonus campaign is true, there'll be bonus episodes. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.